Hey gamers, YagerBR here. Welcome back to Pokemon Masters. So, going to be doing pretty much the same kind of, same formula that we normally do. We're going to hit up the store, and we are going to get by the 3,000, by the 10 sync pairs. Um, so we have to make our choice between going for Hilda or... Or blue, and this is all flying and all fighting. I don't think I want that limit. Cause that's not. I don't want you know a bunch of flying or fighting. All right, so let's swipe that down in there. Let's see who we get. Support. All right. Who are you? Hi, my name's Maylene. I'll accept a challenge anytime. Anywhere. All right, well, there you go. We are, we've got a fighter type anyway. Oh, um. Hi, I'm oh, Gardenia. I'm the master of vivid plant Pokemon and a grass type gym leader. All right. Anyone new? Nope, that's it. Wow. Oh, what's. Used to increase the sync pair's number of stars. Ooh, that's. exciting. Can I. Well, first. Join up with a sync pair. That's it. So, increased potential. Ooh. Okay, so if I get like 20. Okay. But I'm guessing that only works, yeah, on a three star person. So, are there any of these three star people that I really like and want to keep using? I'm, I'm probably going to save those for whenever I'm doing training and stuff. Um, I'm just going to put some of them. Oh, wow. He's easy to max out. Our diligent efforts are reflected in... Great. I'm just going to put some of... The, I'm just going to max out these people quick, just because I can. I probably... I won't be using them in this episode, though, because they're not really going to be worth it. I won't match. I'll save a little bit, but... So good when all your I, I don't think I want to know how she finishes that. So that level cap. Yeah. Oh, I. that's right. I didn't get... I didn't have enough for this guy. Who's... Oh, Will's at the max max. That's right. All right. So we did that. Let's hit up the main story. Oh, that's right. We're going after Price. Shivers of excitement. It's a weird thing, Price. But let's see. We got Flannery, Norman, and mm. I forget his name. I know he has a pimp love. Heard there's quite a skilled trainer somewhere around this glacier. Mm. I don't know exactly where. Seriously? I wonder where they are. It's pretty cold out here. He looks like a grown-up. Uh, Lucas from <laughs> Barry. Barry's the name. What are you talking about? You get cold too easily, Flannery. Oh. Yeah, no wonder. She's a fire leader. My hometown is hot. I didn't think to pack anything besides the clothes I normally wear. I guess I would be pretty cold if I were out here dressed like that. Wanna borrow my scarf? <laughs> I I'm okay, but <sighs> thanks for the con concern, though. Hey! It'll be even colder once the sun goes down. There'll be a time for chit chat later. We need to focus on our search for now. Yeah? Alright. Let's hurry up and get this done before Flannery catches up. Hey okay, now! No, no, no. Re really? I'm f f f fine. Oh, jeez. That girl in the background standing on the cliff. Challenge at the glacier. Alright, so we need electric and rock. So just give me the best electric types. Uh, sub out Lieutenant Surge for Brock. Um, who else do we have? Roxanne. Wait, was is he actually the better solution? Oh wait, no, Brock's the best solution. Let me show you my rock right. hard willpower. So it's, let's say rock hard. So it's me, Sophocles, and Brock going up against a hiker. Howdy, I'm feeling cold here. 
Could this be my special talent? All right. Get ready for the power of a hiker that the cold never bothers. So, we have ice and rock. Ready when you what? are! Oh, okay, I see what Pokemon you have there. Some opponents have special passive skills. This sync carries a passive skill called Clear Headed. It prevents the Pokemon from being confused. Well, let's see how it does with a rock to the face. Thunderbolt and a Thunderbolt. And a rock. And I forgot Pikachu can't fall down. Oh, it's logic. You know what to do. Go. And actually, we'll do Rock Tomb. Oh, oh they're gonna do Rock Tomb back. That's oh. All right. Teaming up with Pokey. All right, Sophocles game. Pretty impressive. Well, was never one of my talents, but even then, everybody has something they're good at. <laughs> Today on, I'll be an ice hiker. Using my talent to See its Okay. No one knows where the ice hiker went after that. They say that he and his Pokemon still roam the icy mountain glaciers to this day. They fucking die? What? what? Why are you walking on this? This looks like instant death. Master, it's too co cold for swimming lessons out he here. <laughs> oh, come on. I know you can keep going. I mean, look at me. She's not even dressed for swimming. You're gonna somehow kill these people. Whoa, right. I don't feel cold at all. Just like the last guy. Um. Nothing like fighting oh, the tide. I feel like this is a Smash Brothers. Fight against three of the same. I got too but ambitious. Can there even be somewhere this cold on an island? Just areas like the other parts that we've seen. You know what to do. Cause it cold. I got too ambitious. This is all right. Let's be artsy. Like a swimmer takes the water. Oh, why? No, don't leave me behind, the master. I can't handle this cold. Wait. Oh, jerk. Your master sucks. Alright. Going on to... Pickering in circles. We're just gonna be pickering. Oh, Christ. What is it? Well, from the look of you... I bet you've come looking for a badge, haven't you? Huh? Are you? Hmm. The name's Bright Price. I'm a gym leader from Mahogany Town. PML leader. If you're looking for a battle, I'll take you on. Yeah? This old guy doesn't waste any time. Let's get to it. Fired up! Leave this one to me. I know Torkoal can really put it in work here. <laughs> Don't push yourself so hard, Flannery. I can handle this old hey guy. Now. I'm f fine. Just because I'm cold doesn't mean I can't do battle. Nope. Trust me. Leave this one to me, the gym leader of Blackbridge huh? Town. What was that all about? You don't have to get all high and mighty. <sighs> What's wrong? If you don't want to battle, I'll be on my way. Stop. Hold on. We're ready to do this right now. Good grief. Very flary. Would you two calm down? You're being rude to us. Oh. <sighs> but but. <sighs> you've made up your mind. Come and get it. Then, I'll show you the true harshness of women. Come at me with everything you've got. But these are three on three fights, why don't you both just fight him? Oh wow. There has to be more to this chapter than this. I do not lose easily. Just a nice thunderbolt, nice zing zap, and a rock too. Alright, so Seals got some help, but you know what to do. But he also okay, he was paralyzed. He's not paralyzed now. Did you point out where I went wrong? Looks like luckily he's still what not can we learn from this? Is this a oh, is this a boss fight? Take 
Discord, go away. Make this work. Oh yeah, I guess I should attack. Seems as if my luck has run out. Teaming up with Pokemon really fuels my engine. Shut up, Socrates. I don't know why I hate some of these people. Uh, something missing. Do you not have any badges? What are you gonna say? You didn't bring me out here? That was an easy win. All right, old man, make the badges. No, Price wasn't really giving it all. His all. Huh? Huh? <laughs> there was certainly something dazzling about it. Farewell. You. Can't you give just a bit more? <sighs> what are you talking about? What's the deal hey. here? Everybody, calm right. down. Bow of Price just now. You did perform well, but there was still something missing. <sighs> what is it? <sighs> missing? Good grief. Think hard about it, you two. We'll need to find the right answer, the answer before we meet Price again. Yep. Now, I know it's probably ironic to say, but yep, the price is cold. You don't. It's, it's hard to earn his respect. <laughs> Mr. Trainer! Hi! Can you battle us, please? Why are they all, like, T posing? Or that's it's more of like an X pose. Challenged by preschooler. Let's see her name. Is she gonna do good? She says. We're gonna screw her wall. Oh no! You know what to do. Two to sisters. Nope. Go. All right. So, big move was to do a hey, I'm just gonna throw rocks at it. Go. Another Pokemon is even four times because of the You could have gone a little e easier on me. I'm just a little kid. You wait, I'll beat you when I'm all grown, grown up. All right, so we got scientists and Ace hmm. Trainer. Weird. Usually all. Oh come on. Hey, Fora, stop holding us back. Oh, I remember this scene. We're supposed to be a threesome, three-person team. And look at you two, always just... Hmm. Prepare yourselves! It's a good opportunity for me to show you that you need me, too. Alright, and in an effort to help you, Time Mr. Scientist, I'm gonna take out this kid first. Just because... That's how I roll. Really what can we learn from this? I also don't know why there's you four of you in a in a three on three match, but Here's my What happened? Oh, Sharp lowers your defense. That's a suicide move. My Pokemon. What's he gonna bring? Up? Who gets to attack? Ah, uh, jeez. Just in case it misses. Okay. Hey. But you lasted the longest, and it's not because you hid behind the girl. Do you see now? The reason they won is because they properly operate as a team. Sorry. I should have, shouldn't have said those things. Your glass is right. really nice. We had forgotten that we needed all three of us to win. Let's wipe the slate clean and start over. This time together. See, look, we're helping other people figure out that they need each other. And the question is, will Flannery and Barry realize they need each other? It takes two. No, it takes three. Seriously? For some reason, it's even colder than it was before. It's getting later. The sun's setting. Hmm. <sighs> What now? Hey! I'm sorry about earlier, Flannery. Huh? huh? Hmm. I've been thinking about it. I guess I was kind of rushing for no good reason. I thought I could do it all myself, and I hope I didn't make you <sighs> feel bad. 
times like these, I wish I could find myself. I wish I could find myself. Okay. I hope you can forgive me, Flannery. Oh, well, uh, I was actually about to apologize to you, my too, bad. Barry. I'm the one who should be sorry. That was all my fault earlier. I was the one who panicked, and I was trying to, too hard to live up to my title of gym leader and totally missed the mark. <laughs> oh, you felt that way too, huh? I guess that's why we were so out of sync in that battle. Let's work together. You got it, <sighs> dude. Ah, seems like you found the answer to what was missing then. Let's Time for do us to it. head back to practice. You two can show him what you've learned. In how long has this been? Five minutes. What is it? Oh, it's you again. Back to challenge me again, are you? <laughs> That's right, old man. Give us one <laughs> more battle. Fine, I'll take you on. Yeah, like, see the jock stuck up in the back? Like, how did you get up there and Here are we gonna go. die going down? Just you watch. It's gonna be completely different from last time. Flannery, hey, bro, let's up. do this. Yeah, let's battle together. <laughs> oh, I like that determined expression. This will be Come and good. get it! I am known as the Winter Trainer. Let me show you what I'm capable of. I hope he uses, like, Articuno. Just something completely overpowered instead of Seal. Is he gonna join us too? I do not lose easily. Ah, uh, Steel Seal. Still Seal? Oh, another one? I didn't think they had any backup people, but... Oh, was that hail that hurt him before? Watch and learn! Time for some offense! I let my guard down, so... Four more moves, and then we should be... Now! Be good to do our sink. Oh, you're frozen. But stop the please let's see. Let's see your sink move. Leave it to me. Oh. All right. Ooh. Oh, Onyx is unfrozen. What can we learn from this? Oh, Great, right. Snow Run fainted. Really don't, don't say that soft, please. Quit being a weirdo. Alright. And it looks like Bryce will be joining Fired us. Fired up! All right! Brilliant! All right, we finally worked okay. together and won. Yes! But hey, old man, you weren't going easy on us that time, <laughs> were you? <laughs> no, I wasn't. Your performance in that battle was well a done indeed. There's nothing more for me to do but give you your badge. Oh, that's a cool-looking badge. A harmony badge. Only one more badge All to go. All right! All mm. right! The harmony badge symbolizes unity. It's a badge that we work together to get. <laughs> I always remember what this badge means. Hmm. My sincerest thanks for battling earnestly, Price. We all... Price? Pierce. Price. We all learned <laughs> so much from you. Those are some interesting youngsters. They're more powerful than I had initially <laughs> thought. Indeed. Surprised by how much this new generation of trainers is teaching me as well. Are you their guardian? <sighs> no, I'm just part of their team. The one running the show right. is Jagerbrook. Yes. Jagerbrook. Certainly does seem to be something mm. quite interesting about you. I think so too. I don't quite know what it is yet, mm. though. How about it then? Would you let me join you two? Hmm? Never imagined you'd want to join our team. I'm counting on you. I found I have a desire to learn from the younger <laughs> generation as well. We welcome you with open arms. I'm sure everyone will be happy to have you here. <laughs> hey, Norman, what are you guys talking about? 
Let's say goodbye to this freezing glacier and get back to a nice warm town. Hey, I knew it! You've been, been cold all along too, haven't you, baby? Oh man, you got me. <laughs> Tell things are going to be very interesting from here on out. No. Oh. My name is Price. Okay. I'm a gym leader. I have forged my path through life with ice type Pokemon by my side. Alright. So we got Price on the team. And a new chapter is unlocked. Who's it gonna be? Oh, um. I don't know her name off the top of my head. I know she has a little. Dragon, dinosaur, dragon type Pokemon. Right. Um, let's see. What was I gonna do here? So he's 29, yeah, 30 is his max level, so. But we have some sync pairs that we need to work on. So Bugsy, a day with Bugsy. Flarebro needed a breath of fresh air away from the bustle of the city, so he decided to take a stroll in the forest. However, the moment he arrived in a quiet place, a Beedro suddenly zoomed no out of the way. trees right towards him. Whoa, whoa, Beedro, <laughs> stop! Oh, it's you, Yabra. Sorry if my Beedro scared you just now. I think your shadow actually scared him when you walked up, so he was trying to zoom away. Why'd he zoom straight towards me? Either way, he owes you an apology. Beedro apologized to Yabra. He didn't mean any harm, I promise. Oh. I hope you'll forgive him. Beedro are known to be a little aggressive at times. Do you think they're scary? Eh. Uh, real answer, I want to say yeah. But I want to look cool and brave and nice. Oh. I'm just going to say yeah. Oh, I was afraid you'd say that. So many people have a fear of bug-type oh. Pokemon, you know? Before Beedro evolved to look like this, we never really had any issues with the way he looks now. He has two giant, like, spears in his hands that can go right through people. Yes? Did something happen? Yeah, pretty recently actually. It made <laughs> me feel really sad. It happened in a region I was exploring before I came to Pasio. And Beedro was just still a weedle. There was these kids that would come and play with him all the time, and they loved him. When he evolved into Kakuna, the kids stopped coming to play. Kakuna don't move around at all, so maybe they lost interest? Then he evolved into a Beedrill. I thought they'd be excited to play with him again, so I brought him over and the kids got scared and cried. Still the same Pokemon that he was as a Weedle and a Kakuna. He just looks different. Strange how people can forget that. <laughs> we can't do anything about that. Sounds good. You know, that's sad. Yeah, it is sad. I'm not giving up anytime soon. That's the whole reason I came here to compete in the PML. I want to use the PML to show the world how awesome and powerful bug-type Pokemon are. I bet you'll be super come. popular by the end. In order to make that happen, Pedro and I are going to have to defeat a whole lot of other Pokemon. And we will, just watch. <laughs> That's the spirit. Yeah, I mean, everybody loves a strong Pokemon, right? Wait a sec, hmm. that doesn't make sense. Pedro is already so strong and powerful that people are scared of him. Why isn't he more popular? Gotcha. You have to show some other good qualities. Well, Bug-type Pokemon have a ton of good qualities. I should know that better than anyone else. Take Weedle, for example. It may look cute on the outside, but on the inside, it's super tough. <laughs> and filled with poison. It could kill you if it wanted to. Kakuna still has Weedle's toughness. Plus, it gets a hard, protective <laughs> shell on top of that. And its appearance really shifts when it falls into Beedra and gets super strong poisonous stingers. Yeah, that's why people are scared. At their core, they're all the same Pokemon. But the qualities that make them awesome wow. change from evolution to evolution. Kind of mysterious, right? That's what makes Bug-type Pokemon so interesting to me. You sound... Yeah, I do know a lot about Bug-type Pokemon. You're right, I know all there is to know about Bug-type Pokemon, so there are probably things about them that thank only you. I can teach others. I should really thank you. I don't know if I would have been able to realize that all on my own. First things first. I think I can start by teaching people that Beedrill only attack when they're poisonous stingers with their attack first. I mean, that would be a good thing to know. But can you guarantee that? And can you define what being attacked means to a Beedrill? 
So, keeping with the Gen 2, let's check out price. Now we just spent a very cold evening with him, but... Oh wow, he looks pissed at Seal. While Jagerbro was taking a stroll, he ran into Price and his Seal. He called out to say hello, but Price <sighs> didn't hear him. It seems like you've been slacking off a bit ever since we got to pass your Seal. If you'd been more focused during our last battle, winning would have been a breeze for us. If we continue on this route, trial triumphing at the PML will be nothing more than a dream, and a distant dream at that. Um, how's it going, you two? Hmm, is that you, Yaira? Well, well, fancy running into you here of all places. Have you been training out here, too? <laughs> no, just taking a stroll. Ah, just so happens that Seal and I are doing the same. Seal and I take walks all over Pasio as part of our daily routine, you know? Brief respite gives us a nice, quiet moment to relax together each day. However, I believe Seal has been taking advantage of that relaxing time a bit too much. He's so caught up in the that in the young, lively atmosphere of Pasio that all he wants to do now is play, play, play. A little fun <laughs> couldn't hurt, right? Yes, but a certain amount of discipline is also necessary for the group. Seal and I did not journey all the way to Pasio to play around on vacation. Are you not training hard each day in preparation for the PML as well? Listen, I have to reach the mountain. Summit is not a gentle one, child. At times, we must not only be strict with ourselves, but with our Pokemon as well. I, I, I see. Oh, drat. Sometimes my enthusiasm gets the best of me, and I end up lecturing you whippersnappers. It's a bad habit of mine. I've already bored you to tears, haven't I? It was... No, I'm learning a lot. Well, I'm happy to hear that. I have a bit of advice, more advice for you, if you still care to listen. Both of us are heading toward the same goal right now, to compete in the PML, perhaps even to win. I'm sure the road will be tough with many hurdles to block our way. Things may not always go how we want them to. It will not be easy, the journey will be long and <laughs> arduous. Until we finally overcome all of our obstacles and reach our destination, <sighs> we have grown so much. Because we so strongly wish to learn and grow with our Pokemon. Because of the bonds that connect us, the friendship and the courage. Mm. So on and so forth. I'm sorry to interrupt. Huh, you're trying not to get them. Simply <sighs> incorrigible. Jeez, I shouldn't be lecturing others on being sloppy and undisciplined. But I can't keep track of myself. Are you lecturing me now, Seal? Well, perhaps I deserve <sighs> it. Thank you. That's it, isn't it? Words of kindness can be just as important as criticism. We need both in order to bring out the best to each other. Ho -ho! That makes sense, I guess. Indeed! That doesn't mean I don't enjoy a good bit of fun with my Pokemon, though. What I mean to say is having fun and playing with your Pokemon isn't the only <laughs> good way to spend time. I believe that if you really care about your Pokemon, you'll know the importance of being strict with them sometimes. I guess... That's... That sounds boring and not fun. <laughs> So, we might as well keep this Gen 2 train going. So who else is from Gen 2? I don't, I don't think any of these are. But I do know... Let's see. Janine's... In, like, the gold, silver, crystal games. She replaces Koga as the gym leader. Janine was intently watching people going to and fro in town. She did not notice Yagabra as he approached her. Hmm. So that's how you're you're gonna fight, huh? <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, oh, I wanted to scare her. Oh, Yagabra, hey there. I was uh I was watching the townspeople. I was watching the movements of all the trainers and Pokemon in town. I was also watching the Pokemon battles all that right. were happening all over. This is a part of my training, too. I've been out here since early this morning. You really work hard on your studies. <laughs> You're just slacking up. <laughs> no. You've got that right. I train every day with Ariados. What makes Pokemon battles deep is the fact that they're right. more than just tests of strength. It's super important that you read what your opponent is thinking to build your strategy around that. I was watching all of these <laughs> trainers and Pokemon. So I can learn to read one, even two steps ahead in battle. I learned something <laughs> new today. You can tell I know, me. right? 
Are, are, are you dabbing? Perfect strategy is how a ninja fights. My father has always told me that I must train not only my body, but my mind and spirit too. But no matter how perfect your strategy is, it doesn't count for anything unless you are connected with your Pokemon. I learned that the most important thing is for the trainer and Pokemon to have a trusting relationship. I can see that being really important. It's not like Ariados and I need that kind of advice though. We've had each other's back all the time. All the pain and sorrows that we went through, we were able to overcome them together. Great, are you, Dose? All right. Hey, I have, I have someone I could hook you up with. They are also really into bugs. Considering what good partners we are, I know we won't lose to anybody. Oh God. Uh. You can I just want to hear what she says about Koga. Of course, we could beat my father <laughs> and his crowbat. Our sync power, Aridos and I will only get stronger. Stronger than you, and stronger than father. Just cause, out of all the Gen, gen 1 gym leaders, Koga's like one of the most strict ones in Cold Heart. Um, yeah, so I think that's everything for this. Yep. So next time we'll be doing more of the main story, chapter 9 to be exact. Uh, we'll probably we'll do a couple more the bonding sync pair stories. So we still have like 6, 9, 12, 13, 14. Holy shit. Okay, it looks like from a quick count, it looks like we have 30. So, probably gonna have to do a lot of those in one of these episodes. I was hoping this one would have been a little shorter, that it would have, that Price could have given us the badge right away, but oh well. So thank you all so much for watching. If you like this, you can please subscribe to the channel. There's going to be an icon right here making it super easy for you. And in addition to that, there's a video up top. It's a video that YouTube thinks you'll like. And a video down low. It's the last video I uploaded. So be sure to check those out after subscribing. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.